Hi friend, welcome back to Network Labrum channel. To begin of today, I would like to cover step to add Citrix Next uh, Color IDC to uh, EVNC. The first step to add Citrix uh, Next Color to EV, you need to uh, go to Citrix and download the email you want depending on your environment. Let me show you where to download the email. And in this way, you need to join the CGIS Netscaler. And wait a second. And then uh, scroll down and join Citrix ADC VBX release um, 14.1. And you can try another version, but I want to try in latest version. Click and the Citrix website will negative to you to another uh, buy and in this way you uh, had a lot option to download and depending on your environment assemble using hypervisor or hyper-v and in uh, my case I use the EVE so I need download this file Citrix uh, VBS for KVM 14.1 and download this file after you download this file, you need to uh, unpack and uh, copy the file doc CQ uh, call to to uh, EV and try. Let me open the Win SCB. Uh, this one, this file is uh, after I uh, unpack the, the file I download from uh, Citrix website, and then let me create a new folder in, in EV. Uh, the from uh, folder name you need to follow the EVE uh, requirement in case it e folder name is uh, NSVSB sorry VBX and follow is the uh, version of ismail forging dot one and Pew uh, seven TA and OK and after that copy this file to the folder and wait a second Okay, after the upload and complete, you need to change the name of this file to VTR and then add, add, add to the EVNG and fix permission to allow to access the image. And then permission okay now let's uh, assert the EV and try and check research now let me create one secret node this one and I will keep so this parameter is default and save then connect to the internet using the box 0 and 1 this one and save this is the MCMT box in the street and start this not and open And wait a second, uh, this reset uh, will be tucked uh, around 5 minutes. 
I will uh, both the video here and come back after the Citrix uh, startup complete. Okay, booting is complete. Let me try logging using the default username and default password is ns root and ns root and you need change backward at the first time you logging okay and now I need to change the IB of MGMT box to access the Citrix using the, the GUI because in lab my uh, network uh, of um, outside is 172.20.10 uh, doc but the default IP of MGMT is 192.168.1.1 so I need to change uh, this uh, MGMT IP uh, to one 72.20.10 and after that I can accept the Citrix using GUI okay the command is symbol using ns uh, uh, sorry says ns config for what time uh, at config and minus IB address and so IB might be 72 doc 20 doc 10 51 and uh, the next mat 255 255 255 doc 0 and and so and as config uh, correct check Okay, next color IB is twenty dot ten dot one. Okay, and say config and wait a second. Okay, and the last step is reboot the Citrix uh, VBC to apply the config and yes okay and I uh, will bow the video here and come back after the Citrix uh, reboot, uh, reboot already okay Citrix come, uh, come up now and uh, let me try logging uh, Citrix GUI using next color IB I set up before this one default because default IB is this uh, 192 uh, so I need change to 172 and now I will use this IB to log in Okay, a separate and username a n s root a backwards a new backwards I set before. Okay, in this way you can click continue to ignore the basic configuration and now you can accept the Citrix GUI okay let me see the dark ball configuration because I ignore this um, step so Every time I click the configuration item, the dashboard will show me uh, this step to remind me uh, config uh, complete this uh, configuration. Okay.
So I complete mm, step two uh, at the Citrix ADC VBX2 the EV and try. The step is simple, right? And uh, I should stop video here and see you in the next video. I would like to cover about step to set up the basic configuration of Citrix Nescala. And one more time, I always get your like and your subscribe my channel friend. Uh, bye bye.